Hi guys, it's Carrie Ann from Everything Mom. This week's book pick is perfect for your teen entitled Girl on a Plane. It's based on the true story about a hijacking. And I know what you're thinking because actually when I saw this book too, I was a little kind of like, do I really want to encourage my teen to be reading about a hijacking incident. You know, is that gonna cause problems when it's traveling? But sometimes you have a teen who is more interested in something that's closer to like a non-fiction or a fiction story based on elements that are non-fiction. And I think that's where A Girl on a Plane will be appealing. Anna, who is 15 years old, summer's over and she's been put on the plane by her parents, being sent back to London where she's gonna to go to school for the school year at a boarding school. The bulk of the story takes place on a plane that has been grounded in a Jordanian desert. So you would think that premise sometimes of being in one place on a plane that it might kind of lose momentum as it goes. But like a lot of kids, they're sort of traveling on their own, kind of make connections with other kids on the plane. So when the plane is grounded and obviously circumstances, the kids are scared while well, everybody's scared, the conditions get a little dicey. And in the desert, the temperature gets really hot during the day and then at night it gets really, really cold. Have to figure out rationing. Palestine gorillas who have grounded the plane and have demands to have fellow members released from prison in the UK and are giving sort of three days notice or three days warning before they're gonna kill everybody on the plane. So there are moments when you're reading that you actually kind of forget as the characters sort of interact with each other and they sing songs or they tell stories, but those kind of moments of calmness or camaraderie are interrupted abruptly by the leadership of the gorillas who want no, no sense of people being comfortable or happy. There are moments where dynamite or explosives are being attached to the plane that some of the hostages, including Anna, are pulled out for photos and media opportunities when the media comes to basically show how well they're being treated but they're not so well they're afraid to say anything so there's a lot of like tension even when the hostages at some point are separated. There is this sort of sense of you get to a level where you think everything is good, but then something else occurs which makes you think, oh, what? we haven't come to the end of the story yet. So the fact that Anna is put into this position, and no position that any parent would want their child in, but how emotionally she sort of deals with it. She has a letter from her mom that she reads over and over again as a form of comfort. She makes friends in the plane to try and help her through this. I think they all help each other through it. It is this reminder that we never really know what could happen, um, so you should always be grateful and thankful for what you have and live those moments. So maybe not necessarily a book to read on the plane, but an interesting story and it is a very sort of strong, I found very strong. I don't even know if I could have kind of the courage that she had in the story, but at the same time, she did show a lot of vulnerability of somebody her age being really scared, being somewhat naive, uh, what was going on or what would happen. So Girl on the Plane, this week's book pick for your teen, especially if you have a teen who's interested in something that has a little more based in nonfiction. I will leave a link down below to the book and how you can get your own copy if you have a teen who might be interested. As always, you can find me here on Wednesdays talking books for kids from board books for infants all the way up to young adult books for your teen. And when I'm not talking books, you can catch me here talking family travel, mom confessions, and other fun family stuff. So. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll know when the next video is published. And until next time, ciao.